Monday. Today I work, I want to be working in the background. The background is the furthest behind in the painting and I want to also add some of those roses into the rose bushes. Though I have to wait, I can't start on the background yet because the sun isn't in the right position, but it'll get there soon. Right now the, the rose bushes at the start of my painting session are pretty well, the sun is hitting them, and then later on in the painting session, the sun gets in the perfect spot where the, the rose bushes are in shadow. So I work on other areas um, like the tablecloth and the napkin. I'm cleaning up the edges and shadow shape of the napkin as it rests on the tablecloth. And then I have a lot of fun working on the napkin. I'm painting large parts of it, getting the shapes within it to be more specific, and also I'm playing around with a bit of impasto in the lighter areas of the napkin, which is really fun, especially where the napkin folds over. Um, that's like the most right part of the napkin in the front. I also see that I want to enlarge the base of the martini glass where that base rests on the napkin, so I work on that as well. And then when the sun gets into the right into the right spot, I start then to work on the background. I start bringing out groupings of leaves and putting the roses in pretty roughly. I don't want the roses to attract attention away from what is on the table, so I do this all as simply as possible. And then with the top part of the fence, I mentioned before that I didn't know exactly how I was going to handle it. In real life, the top part of the fence is crisscrossing lattice, but I thought that like that geometrical pattern would be too distracting and too much contrast. Um, so it'd be like too distracting from the objects that are on the table, which are the subject. So instead I have it being a clear sky, which I'm making up as well because actually through the lattice, instead of seeing sky, I see my neighbor's house. Tuesday, I'm really in the resolving stage now where I'm finishing up the painting, which is really fun. And since I have a frame picked out already that I want to use for the painting, I put the painting in the frame and work on the painting that way. This helps me to see where the edges of the painting get cut off by the frame and if I want to adjust anything in the composition to make it look better. Though this, this really didn't happen though because I, I had already planned for this. But um, I also see that I want to change some colors slightly, tone down some colors, bring some colors up more, and mess around with the temperatures and values a bit to get the painting to look really nice in this silver and slightly gold frame. I really want to make that martini glass stand out, but also work within the painting as that is the subject of the painting. The colors that I have in that glass are a little too intense for my liking. I have strong blues and pinks, which definitely make the glass stand out, but nothing else in the painting has these strong colors, and I want this to be a softer painting, so I tone down the colors in the glass, and still to get the glass to stand out, um, I then will, I increase the range of values, mostly getting lighter values, which really then has that martini glass standing out and obviously being the subject of the painting. I also start really playing around with impostos, which is really fun, um, by mostly putting paint on thickly, mostly with a brush, but also in some instances um, where I want a really thin line, I will apply the paint with the edge of a small palette knife. It's really cool the different effects that you can get with applying paint thinly and thickly. I love like messing around with this in a painting. Um, not only does it have a variety of textures then, but when you put a light color thickly down on the canvas or panel, that paint stroke will look brighter than if it was applied thinly because uh, that thick paint stroke will have more surface area that can then catch the light to make it appear brighter. I also work on the tablecloth and work some thick brush strokes in some places to get the tablecloth to look brighter and kind of have like different movements in the painting where I have like those thicker brush strokes, impasto brush strokes. And then I finally work on some highlights in the eyeglasses as well.
Wednesday. Again, I put the painting in the frame so I can really start to see and consider the painting as a finished painting. I have never done this before because I haven't had a frame on hand to pop a work in progress in, but I really, really like this. Sometimes I feel like I can work on a painting forever, and that is great if the painting keeps getting better each time that I work on it, but I find for myself sometimes I can keep working on a painting and I'll make the painting look different each workday, but not necessarily better. And to get out of that headspace then of it's a work in progress painting, but then to look at the painting as if it was finished, I am just love popping it in a frame was wonderful for that. And so I start the day with the painting in the frame knowing I do want to fix and change a few things, but having it in the frame made these elements that I wanted to change really obvious. Um, so then I could then bring it to a level of finish. I work on the napkin and get some really juicy brush strokes in. It's funny how I always try to get really interesting brushwork in my painting right at the beginning, but that, and that's fine and good, but um, it seems that I'm successful at getting the impasto brushwork only at the end of a painting when I have like a really good base for it down already. Then I work into the background. The background before was looking too green for me and the sky was looking too blue. There are so many colors in the napkin, for example, even though it looks pink, there are yellows and blues and purples, and the same goes for the white tablecloth and, well, really everything in the painting, except for the background and that blue sky. And so I added a lot of colors then to the, ba to the background, mostly dry brushing to get this airy light feeling back there. And I brought out um, groupings of branches as well in the rose bushes to get some movement, some more movement in the background. I keep popping the painting in and out of the frame so I can work on the edges of the painting and not get paint on the frame then. And I make my finishing touches then all around the painting. And then the painting is finished. And it's funny, the resolving stage of a painting for me takes either a bit of time or it goes really quickly like it did on this one. I thought that I would be finishing this painting on Friday, but I got it done on Wednesday, which is wonderful. <laughs> I signed my name in the lower right hand corner, and the way that my signature is down doesn't quite match the airy layered brushwork in the lower right hand corner. It just like the signature just sticks out a little bit too much. So once the signature dries, I'm going to make a softened atmospheric effect on top of the signature so you can still so you can still see it and read it and everything but it'll blend more into the painting so i guess technically it's not finished then until i do that but i have disassembled the still life setup and those glasses in the painting are my actual daily glasses so now i can wear them again and give my context a break for a while which is good once I get that signature blended more in the painting, I'll photograph the piece and probably make a separate video on that painting um, so I can show some more details on it and everything. But this painting is now available, so if you would like to own it, just shoot me an email at jennifermariekeller at gmail.com and we can talk about it. I'm Jennifer Marie Keller. Please subscribe to this channel, comment, and like this video as it really does help me out. I put out videos every Sunday on my Diary of a Painter series, and I put out videos every Wednesday on my new series, Diary of a Pregnant Artist.